Hello, welcome viewers. That's what we were discussing about the numerical techniques and the, strat the statistical techniques of the computer. The next of our topic is the solution of the non-linear equations. In this section, we shall discuss about the four methods, bisection method, secant method, newton raphson method, and the regular falsi method. Objective of the, for all the four methods is same. We have to find the exact value of the function or we can say exact value of some variable from the given function by using any one of the methods. Rather the objective is same, then what is the difference between the, all the methods? The difference is that some methods, they provide the more accurate results with the less working and the some others, they also provide the accurate but some more workings. Now we shall discuss how we go through this section. First of all, see by section method, let us take a function f of x is equal to 2x minus 3 sin x minus 5. What we want? We want the exact value of the variable x by using the bisection method. Say up to the 4 decimal place or the 3 decimal place up to the 3 significant figures or the 4 significant figures according to the requirement of the problem. In this section, this equation, it is the combination of the algebraic and the trigonometrical functions. Then from where the problem starts, the value of the x, from where should we start? What should be the value of the x? How we estimate from where should we start? For that, we use a hit and trial method. That is say, let us start with f x is equal to 0. That is 0 minus 3 sin 0 minus 5 that is equal to minus 5 less than 0. We have to check only the sign of the values. Either they are positive or they are negative. Then say f of 1. f of 1 is equal to 2 minus 3 sin 1 minus 5. No. At this point, we tends Note it that this sin 1, this angle in the this section, it is not in degrees, it is in the radian. That is the basic problem, the values. What we will, we want to find that should be in the radians. Rather, we are using a scientific calculator or any, any system in the computer, say Excel, we have to find the radians not in degrees. It is the radians. Let us find out the values. See, that is equal to two minus three into sine one. That is equal to point eight four one five. Round off with the 5 decimal place, minus 5, we can calculate it, that is 2 minus 3 into 0.8415, that's equal to 2.5245 minus 5, and that is equal to 2. minus 5.5245 again it is less than 0 again it is less than 0 now further we continue our process say at f of 2 this function it will give that is 4 minus 3 sine 2 minus 5 that is equal to 4 minus 3 here sine 2 is equal to Again, I repeat, we have to check the values of the trigonometrical functions in the radians, not in the degree. If we check it, it is the sine 2, that is 
point nine one zero zero minus five, and that comes to be minus three point seven three. Again, it is less than zero. Further, we continue our process. Say it is f of three. That is equal to six minus three sine three minus five. That is equal to six minus three sine three in the radians. That comes to be point one four 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 minus five. And the final calculation gives that is point five seven. It is greater than zero. That is the point where we stop our working. Why? As we proceed from x is equal to two, that value is the negative to the value x is equal to three, and that is the positive. Or we can say it is the first oscillation when negative changes value changes into the positive, or the positive changes into the negative. It gives us the approximation. Or the approximate value of the variable that somewhere over variable which we have to find out or we want what we want to find out it lies somewhere near this. Or we can say the root or the exact value say root lies somewhere between two and three. That is three and that is two. That is the hit and trial method. We have also the standard method. to find it that is rather a long process we shall discuss later on in this topic no we use the bisection method for the further solution bisection means to find the average for that say we draw a number line it is a word of the real numbers we write small value on the left and greater on the right and first root or the first value x1 that comes to be 2 plus 3 divided by 2 that is equal to 2.5 it is the first step we continue this process up to the level where we are satisfied with the results which we want from this topic here the result is only up to decimal one place that is the problem with the bisection method it is somehow very slow provides the value very slowly and we have to work more in this section no what should be the further step for that we see over number line it is divided into two parts it is divided into two parts <coughs> we want to say this section and this section the next value lies between either here or here then from where should we start again to check the further section to check the further section again we put this value into the given function say f of 2.5 that is equal to 2 into 2.5 minus 3 times sine 2.5 minus 5. 5 minus again sine 2.5. The value should be in the radians. That's come to be minus 3 times 0.5985 minus 5. And the final value is minus 1.8. It is less than zero. We have two options. We will have only two options. Either the value will be less than zero or it will be greater than zero. Then how we proceed further? If the value is less than zero, if the value is less less than zero, then our next step is on the right hand side. That is on the right hand side. If it is greater than zero, then our next step starts from the right hand side. If it is less than zero, then it is from the left hand side. It means we draw the number line again. C 
say no. Our value lies between it is 2.5 and 3. It is no 2.5. Its value is 2.5 and 3. Since this value is less than 0, that is why our further value lies on the right hand side. If it is greater than 0, then our further value will lie on the left hand side. Then so we delete this section separately 2.5 to 3. It means the next value that is say it is x2. x2 is equal to 2.5 plus 3 divided by 2 that is 5.5 divided by 2 and that's equal to 2.75 2.75 that's from every step we are rectifying the accuracy of the result no it is up to one decimal no it is up to two decimal again we are facing the same problem that where the where the next value lies either on the left side or on the right side to decide this again we have to consider the function the given function f of x that we put value here f of 2.75 is equal to 2 into 2.75 minus 3 times sine of 2.75 minus 5 from the given function if we calculate it that is 5.5 minus 3 times 0 0.3827 minus 5 this value in the radians we can check simply it's from the your scientific calculator you change the mode of your calculator up to the, for the radians then find the value if you will see in the degrees that will be the total problem in the methods these are the values in the radians if we <coughs> calculate it finally it comes minus 0.65 which is less than 0 which is less than 0 less than 0 means our next value lies on the right hand side next values lie on the right hand side so we again draw the number line in this manner it is 2.75 and 3 and it is the third row value that is x3 is equal to 2.75 plus 3 divided by 2 that is come to 2.875 and in this way we can continue the process up to the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 or 10 steps whatever the requirement in the problem that what we have done simply we see we divided say the single line into the two lines then we selected the further with line for the further solution again we divide that portion again we divide that portion it means we are summarizing or we are we, we are solving the problem in this way that every time the number line is reduced number line is reduced number line is reduced it means both left and right values they will come to close at somewhere this value will be the exact value it will start repeating it will start repeating itself approximately or exactly when this value starts repeating itself or approximately equal then we stop the process either it is after five steps or either 25 steps then we have to do we stop this process at the point where this value and this value they are either approximately equal or they start repeating themselves then we stop the process then it is the bisection method we can solve any problem 
algebraic problem, trigonometric problem by this method that is the bisection method.